Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to format your Google Doc um, for MLA style. All right, so there's several ways you can do it. Don't pay any attention to the stuff I have at the bottom. So you'll click the box of little tabs. You'll click Google Docs. They're the box of dots. Either way. All right, so you'll click blank because you're going to start a blank document. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is we need to check the margins. So you're going to go to, let's see if I can remember, in Google Docs it's a little bit different. So we're going to go to Page Setup. Okay, and then the margins are already 1 inch top, 1 inch bottom, 1 inch left, and 1 inch right. And the page color should be blank. No color at all. Alright, so now we have our margins correct. So now I have to put some information in the header. To get into the header, it's just like it is in Word. So you're going to go up to the heading, like the header area, double click, and it opens the header. Okay, so now it has to be right aligned. So right here in your little bar, you're going to come down, you scroll your little mouse over and click right aligned. All right, so your last name should go here. I'm going to type in last because it should be your last name. And you need to have the page number. So you're going to go to insert, header and page number, scroll over it, don't click it. And you click scroll over to page number. I haven't clicked anything yet. And we're going to click right here. The reason we're clicking this one is because I want it to automatically number my pages for me. If you put a 1 in the top, then your last name and 1 will be on every page. And your page number should change as your document num pages change. Okay, so I'll click there and you see it automatically added it. Now, to get out of this, I double click and I'm back into the body of the document. Now, here's what I recommend in the event that you don't remember what is in the heading. So right over here. You see I have this little tab open so I could show you. This is an example of an MLA formatted document. So you can always look back at this and this is Purdue Owl. Okay, so then I know my first and last name goes here first and last. Oops, I forgot one very important thing. So in Google Docs, I highlighted everything because we need to set it up for double spacing. So it's a little different to do that. So you see right here where it says line spacing? You wouldn't know that's line spacing, but it is. So you're going to click here, and you're going to change it from 1.15 to double. Okay? So we'll automatically do it for you. Sorry, I forgot about that. Okay, so after your first and last name, let's go back and double check again. It should be the professor's name. And it tells you right here your name, the professor's name, the course number, and the date of the paper. All right, so professor's name, Mrs. House. The course is Intro to Office Productivity. And the date. I'm just going to put today's date because um, it's the date that I'm doing it. And you must spell it out. You cannot put 10, 27, 19. It must be spelled out because this is like a formal paper. I right, see so press Enter. And then remember the title goes next. That should be centered. So I have no idea which explorer you've chosen because everyone has a different explorer. So I'm going to just put explorer and you press enter. Now here's something very important. You must remember to put it back left aligned. Okay. So then you press tab and then you're going to start typing. This is the, you're not going to really type this, introductory paragraph here. Okay, so I'm going to just type something in here. I'm going to pause the video while I type something in so I can show you how to do the next paragraph. Okay, so welcome back. So now you can see I put lots of stuff here. So it explains this is introductory paragraph. You're going to introduce your explorer. L reference your outline that you created so you can reference the key points. Each paragraph should be five to seven sentences. The last paragraph should be your thesis statement. So for example, right here this is the thesis statement and remember a thesis statement is an I it's like you're it's like the main idea of your entire paper but it's in one sentence 
and I did use a reference when I did this thesis statement so that you would see how to do that so I put quotations here because that's exactly what you know this says it I used a word directly from that um, and you see it's got well I have Grammarly online so Grammarly is kind of weird failed in his quest so be sure that you're looking for your grammar and your spelling all right so this is in quotes because it's the name of the website now let me show you what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to insert I think it's here where's page break I have to find it uh, insert break page break okay so this page is going to be the work cited and I'm going to create a rolling tally of all the stuff in work cited so remember just like in your report title is center line and I'm going to put works cited press enter and I go back to left of the line now I've got my MLA citation right here in my citation machine and it is this website right here so I'm going to copy it control C I'm going to come back over here to my Google Doc and I'm going to control V now you see it looks kind of weird right so I've got to take the highlighting away now let's see if I can find this this way format paragraph styles options let's see here which one it might be I need some options special indent would be hanging ha huh! so I just found it all right so let's see if we can find it again so I'm gonna go to insert no was it under format paragraph styles and I because I, I found it really by accident I think it was under a line and indent and indentation options and hanging indent and apply now this is how it's supposed to be formatted there should be an extra space there now as you use other sources you're gonna add them in and then you can always go back and move them around in alphabetical order all right so as you type into here so this is the end of my first paragraph I'm gonna press enter as I start the new paragraph you must press tab do not press spacebar five times press the tab key and then you're gonna start your new paragraph your first paragraph should be about your first subtopic uh, Christopher Columbus in his background see I cannot spell was oh my goodness I really can't spell was born I have no idea where he was born but you get where I'm going with this correct so it's really not hard now you're just kind of like pulling all the stuff together so you don't have to do all of the research but you do have to cite one source per paragraph you should have uh, how many subtopics I don't remember how many we did if it was four I think so you should have four paragraphs for the body I think I think we did four um, I'm not sure whatever we decided on in class is what we're going with so you should have a sub one um, reference per subtopic and then you can also include one in the first paragraph I just did that so that you could see how to cite it if you have any questions about how to cite things parenthetical citations that's what this is called this is a parenthetical citation because it's within the paragraph if you're not sure how to do that please let me know and I will be right there to help you otherwise I think we are tidying up your Explorer reports and I can't wait to see what you tell me about your Explorers so I can learn something new alrighty I hope you all have a great day bye